New analysis from the Institute of Public Affairs has found that the country's three main fact-checking units are actually, surprise, surprise, politically biased and usually favouring, of course, left-of-centre views. The IPA looked at 970 fact-checked articles since 2019, finding that 65% of the claims favoured left-leaning politicians. John Storey is the IPA's Director of Law and Policy. He joins me now. John, uh, you know, your findings do not surprise me in the least, but that is a, an astounding thing, isn't it, that we, we just know that fact-checking outfits are effectively leftist propaganda outfits. That's right, Chris. A, a one-off like um, Dick Smith's case that you highlighted last week could be dismissed as an aberration or an error, but we've gone through nearly a 1,000 published fact checks by these three organisations. They're available online for anyone to have a look at. And the bias is simply overwhelming and cannot be denied. When it comes to their fact-checking of things that politicians have said, 65% of the time it favours the left compared to 35% of the time. That's about a two-to-one bias. But probably even more marked is the... Uh, when it comes to sort of contentious policy issues like the COVID-19 um, responses um, during the pandemic and, and climate change, they overwhelmingly target one side of the debate. In the case of COVID-19, there was over 500 fact checks done and 94% of them targeted critics of the uh, response to the pandemic. So, I mean, COVID-19 was one of the most contentious policy issues we've seen in Australia, certainly in our lifetime. It was the perfect time for some academics and journalists to shine a bit of light on what the government was doing. Are these the best responses? Are these mandates and lockdowns and curfews and the rest of it really what the science tell us to do? Instead of that, they were targeting critics. And it's the same with with climate change, overwhelmingly over 80% of the time their fact checks target critics of the climate change agenda. And when they do occasionally um, fact check, so-called fact check something said by the pro-climate change agenda, they as often as not actually rule them to be true. The bias is just is, it's overwhelming. Is this all government funded? I mean, the ABC, RMIT one, obviously big licks of taxpayer money in there. Is any of this private money or are we paying for this propaganda against our own interests? Well, there's, there's a third organisation, AAP um, Fact Check, and as far as I'm aware, they don't get any um, taxpayer money directly that I'm aware of. So there is a mix. Um, so, yes, there is RMIT and the ABC and, and AAP. They're the three. To be honest, they're, they're all pretty bad, but the RMIT Fact Lab, based on our research, is by far the most biased. Um, in, in, in the case of COVID-19 and... Um, climate change, they have not fact-checked a single advocate of those policies. <laughs> 100% of the time, they focus critics. That's a sort of North Korean level of consensus over at RMIT. Well, they're actually not set up. That's why they're set up. They're set up because they don't like the way a debate's going and they're set up to try and marshal public thought and debate and they do it through these fact-checking units which are an absolute misnomer. They're absolutely the opposite to that. Thanks for exposing that for us, John. I appreciate it.